Today's project are these Bernhardt end tables. You know I love campaign furniture. These were missing hardware. They were missing one of the corner brackets and they were in pretty rough shape. So I know they look fine, but there was a lot of damage on the top, um, like maybe probably like a water damage or something. So I had to make the decision, what do I do? Um, I love the Burlwood um, fronts, but when I priced out, the hardware you can see just one corner brackets 45 and the hardware for the handles was 90 and so sometimes you have to make decisions because i'm a furniture flipper and this is not a, something i'm keeping for myself so i made the decision to go ahead and paint them out i am going to buy all new hardware as far as the pulls, but I did go ahead and purchase one of the corner pieces. I thought about losing it, but at the end, I really love the campaign furniture, so I decided to go ahead and invest in that piece of hardware so that I could maintain the campaign furniture look. So I'm gonna go ahead and start by giving it a really good clean. And then I'm going to sand out as much of that water damage on the top as I can. To fill in the grain, I like to use this aqua coat. I had a lot of areas that just had some unevenness in the finish and I needed to fill that wood grain in so that when I went to paint it, it would be a really flawless finish. This is really easy to apply. You can see I'm using a Bondo spreader. I'm just spreading it out. You don't want it too thick because you do need to sand it back. So if you put it on too thick, it just makes it harder to sand. Then I'm just gonna use my orbital sander and I'm just gonna sand that smooth. And again, this is gonna provide a nice smooth surface for when I go to prime and paint. I had some damage along the base, so I like to use Bondo because it creates a really clean line when you're painting. So you put it on, you use some painter's tape to kind of create that line, and then you just go back with a sandpaper and sand it smooth. You have to make sure you kind of feather out the edges because Bondo is great to sand. It can really sand smoothly, but you just have to make sure it is sanded smoothly. So here they're prepped and ready. I did add a little bit more glazing Bondo on the top. You can see that one there. I added a little bit more glazing Bondo just for any extra little dings or anything that needed to be filled in. Now I'm going to prep the piece. I do on this particular style, I will spray with the drawers in. So I like to protect the sides from any kind of overspray. So I'm just using some painter tape and my five in one tool and I'm going to apply the tape so that there's no overspray. I'm gonna take a screw, I'm gonna put it in backwards and then I'm going to tape it in and that's gonna act as my handle while I'm working on the piece. I'm using my home right sprayer to spray the primer. I'm using Zinsser's 123 primer. This is a water-based primer. Um, I normally use Zinsser's um, Ben Shellac primer and you'll see in a minute why I like the Ben Shellac better because after I got done with this, there was a lot of bleed through. So even though it says that it blocks tannins, the one, two, three, I'm sorry, it does not. So I am going dark, so it wasn't a big deal. Once you put um, a coat of primer on, if there's any tannins in the underlying wood, it'll come through and then your second coat of primer will seal it in. So it's not a big deal, it's just the bin shellac does a really good job, even in one coat, of sealing in those um, tannins. You can see I'm using a piece of cardboard to spray the edges. You can use your sprayer or you can just come back through with a paintbrush if you want to and you get those edges. 
Here's the bleed through I was talking about. Any t- anywhere that I sand it to raw, you can see that those are tannins coming through the primer. So again, it'll come through on the first coat. Just do a light sanding, go ahead and do a second coat, and that will seal it in. And then you can continue on with your paint. For this particular project, I actually rolled the first coat. It was more of a logistics issue because by the time I was ready to do it, it was um, probably the nighttime or a weekend because you can see my van is in the background, so I cannot spray in the garage. And so I just went ahead and did a brush and a roll on the first coat. And then the second coat um, was probably the next day and I was able to just spray it. So I do both. I do um, spray and then I also do brush and roll. So it just depends on the logistics. I do work from home. So sometimes it's just a matter of um, what we have going on. I usually just work during the day. So I'm able to just do whatever I need to do. But um, if it's ever if I ever do anything on the evenings or the weekends, then it would have to be brush and roll. You can get a really good finish with just a brush and a roll. Um, for the brush that I'm using, I've used lots of different brushes. This particular one is a Stahlmeister one, and I'm just using that to cut in. I also like zebra brushes. And then for the rolling, I like to use something with a very fine nap. I like to use microfiber, something under a half an inch. So like Sherwin-Williams, they have their contractor brand, microfiber um, mini rollers. And it's, I believe, a three eighth of an inch um, nap. So find something really thin, really small, and that'll give you a really nice finish. For the second coat, I'm going to go in with my Home Right sprayer and spray the second coat. Now, this paint that I'm using today is Valspar's Cabinet and Furniture Paint. It's very thin. Um, it is an enamel, and it dries without any needing any type of top coat, and it dries really hard. And I've used it for several projects. It goes on really well. I've used it both with my sprayer and I've used it with brush and roll. And it it does require a little bit of a learning curve. Um, you don't wanna overwork it. You just wanna put it on and walk away. And it might require, especially if you're brushing and rolling it, it might require a few more coats, but um, I find that it goes on really well. I was able to clean all the hardware and then I gave it a fresh coat of gold. I was able to get the extra one that I was missing on eBay. So now I have a complete set. I did go ahead and buy new drawer pulls for both of the nightstands, but I chose a style that I think really blends well with this particular look. Let's look at the before, beautiful Bernhardt set, lots of damage, lots of missing hardware, needs some TLC, but here we go. Here it is, all painted out. This is a beautiful blue. See that hardware I chose? I think it blends beautifully. This is called Naval by Sherwin-Williams. It's not, I wouldn't consider it a navy. It's a very dark blue, but it's not a deep navy, but it looks beautiful on this particular style. I think the gold with the blue really sets it off. Tell me what you think. <laughs> 